What's going on guys, it's Jack. A couple videos back I did a review of the A6500, which I'll link right here. But for today's video, I wanted to talk about some of the best lenses, accessories, and add-ons that I found. If you just got the camera, one of your first big decisions is gonna be what lens to go with. I would recommend the Sony f2.8 35mm prime lens. Being a prime lens means that the focal length is fixed at 35mm, so in order to zoom in or zoom out, you physically have to move closer or further away from what you're trying to shoot. The positive to this is that the lens is really compact and lightweight. This was the first lens that I got when I switched to Sony. I've used it for a variety of applications from photo to video. In fact, I've shot almost every video for my channel so far using this lens. The only real drawback I have is that the focus ring is kind of small and it's hard to tune in exactly to the focus that you want if you're using it on manual mode. But other than that, I think it's a really great choice. If you're looking to keep the camera really compact while still getting great image quality, I think this lens has to be near the top of any list. Keeping with the concept of portability, one of these rope straps is a really good fit. With a lens like the 35 millimeter on it, it's not a heavy camera, so you don't need a ton of support with a big strap. And I, I like the way the camera looks with this and it functions pretty well. In certain situations, a prime lens like the 35 millimeter isn't gonna cut it. If you need to adjust the focal length, your best choice is probably a lens like the 24 to 70. This lens allows you to use any focal length between 24 millimeters and 70 millimeters. One thing to note is the lenses that I have here are FE mount lenses, which means they can be used with the Sony full frame cameras. I have these because I started out with the A7 series. You can use them on the A6500, which is an APS-C camera with no problem, except that the focal lengths will be slightly zoomed in. So a 24 millimeter will probably be closer to something like a 35 millimeter. If you ever plan on getting an A7 series camera, then I think getting the FE mount lenses from the start is a good option. Another thing that I found is that if I'm using a big lens like the 24 to 70, you can't use a strap like the rope strap because the added weight from the bigger lens makes the rope really uncomfortable. In this scenario, I like the peak design strap because it's easy to set up. You just clip the strap into these little loops that you attach to the camera and then it's easy to adjust and it's a higher quality. It feels almost exactly like a seatbelt. It's smoother and they've done a nice job making it easy to adjust. If you're planning on using heavy lenses with the camera, I would definitely suggest looking into this strap. Another accessory that was really important to me initially was the Metabones adapter. This allows you to use Canon lenses with Sony cameras. The nice thing about this Metabones adapter is it has the connectors to allow the autofocus and the electronics on the lenses to still work. A lot of people aren't sure about the Sony mirrorless cameras and are heavily invested in the Canon lineup. So this allows you to kind of try it and use some of your Canon lenses without having to fully commit and spend a lot of money replacing your Canon lenses with Sony ones. This is how I started and I think it's a really good entry point. If you're shooting a lot of video, sometimes you're gonna need a continuous on-camera light. I really like accessories that keep the form factor of the camera small. This light's really nice because it has three brightness settings, it's LED, and it's rechargeable with the same micro USB connector as the camera. So if you bring one charger, you can charge both the light and the camera. It lasts a long time and does a pretty nice job for a small, portable, on-camera light. When using a camera like this for vlogging or out and about, one of the keys is to be able to record good audio as well as good video. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro. I think it is the, one of the best combinations between quality and price for an on-camera mic. It's nice because it just has a three and a half millimeter jack that goes into the microphone port. It just needs a nine volt for power and has a few simple settings on the back. It really makes it easy to capture surprisingly high quality audio without adding a lot of size and complexity to your setup. If you're looking for a mobile tripod, I think this Joby one is pretty much the consensus pick. Casey seemed to make this one famous in his vlogs. I think he used the bigger version. This is a smaller one, but since the A6500 is not as big as a DSLR, I found that this one works really well. It allows you to bend the legs to attach on to certain things. The screw on the top basically articulates the platform, and then once you screw it down, it locks it into place at whatever angle it's on. 
it's really easy to use and straightforward and pretty durable. And I think that's why it's the go-to choice for a lot of vloggers and people who do video on the go. I think the tripod, the mic, and the lens give you a pretty versatile and top-notch mobile video setup. I hope you like this rundown of some of my favorite accessories for the A6500. I'll be putting out videos every week. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.